Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for today's informal retro tech talk Wednesday discussion about the latest reveal from Ioneo, Pocket Evo. Uh, so I'm going to be giving you what Ioneo revealed to us and what I think about it and also whether or not I think this unit can actually take the flight to the Odin 2 which is one of the most popular retro handouts or Android based handouts available at the moment. So first up as you can see it's got quite an interesting design very rounded, very futuristic, I like it quite a lot. Compared to the Odin 2, the Odin 2 looks quite dated and boxy. I just realized that as I was busy with this video. Um, so this looks a lot more futuristic and sleek. I really like the lines and the design. I'm wondering whether or not these controls that are slanted like that will actually add to the ergonomics or take away from it. We'll only really know once uh, it is compared and reviewed by somebody who actually gets a hand-on review unit and can tell us what they think about it and what their experience is. It is a successor to the Pocket S, which I only revealed a little while ago. It's available, the Pocket S for sale at around $400, which is quite expensive. But um, same chipset as the Pocket Evo. Uh, so same internals, more or less. The screen is different, though. The Pocket S has an IPS 1440p display, whereas the Evo has an OLED 120Hz display, 7 inch, also bigger obviously, 1080p. So quite an interesting unit, very minimalist design, hole sensing triggers, this rounded look, doesn't look to be quite too thick, it looks like it would actually compare to the Odin 2 Mini. Um, it has the G3 X Gen 2 chipset, which we mentioned is in the Ionia Pocket S as well. The Odin 2 has got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset. So the G3X is a little bit more powerful. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to a video from Russ over at Retro Game Corps where he compared the iNeo Pocket S with the Odin 2 and he did some benchmarks on it which are quite interesting. So the G3X does produce a little bit more performance, I'd say 5 to maybe 15% more performance, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be actually be noticeable when you compare it to the Odin 2. Um, it has an 8000 milliamp hour battery, which is the same as what the Odin 2 has, but this one has these linear motors, not sure what that exactly is, but I'm assuming it's going to give it quite a bit better vibration experience. So yeah, and then the 1080p display. So yeah, um, do I think that it will be able to compare to the Odin 2? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to take too much market share away. Why do you ask? Well, for one thing, it's probably going to be quite a bit more expensive. Like I said, the Pocket S comes in at around $400. This has got an OLED display, so most probably it's going to be more. It will be probably $450, $500. A lot of people on the forums are saying that they're not really willing to go over $500 for an Android handheld because it is limited in what it can do, in what kind of emulation capabilities are available on Android. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons. It's definitely going to be a little bit more expensive, most probably. <laughs> definitely, most probably. Uh, but yeah, then it, the performance is roughly the same. A little bit more. I don't think in real-world experience you're going to notice the difference. Uh, maybe if you're running high-end emulation, trying to do Windows emulation, and then running maybe a PlayStation 3 emulator inside the Windows emulator, like some people are doing currently. Um, that's just a, a minefield in itself, to be honest. But also because the Odin 2 has got a lot more better driver development because it's been out for a little while longer than what the Evo is, has. So in the video I mentioned that Russ did on Retro Game Corps, he compared the Pocket S to the Odin 2 and there were noticeable glitches or drawbacks to the drivers on this unit when you compare it to the Odin 2. So yeah, that's what I think about it. I think I would rather buy an Odin 2 at 299 or if you're looking for something more minimalist, the Odin 2 Mini at 339. Um, this one's got a smaller battery than the Odin 2, but also same chipset. Uh, it's got a mini LED screen compared to the IPS screen on the Odin 2. I would rather go for the OLED. The OLED is one of the main drawing factors or main factors that would make me consider the Evo. Uh, but I think at the price it's going to come out, it would just not be worth the price difference. Um, if this is going to be $500 or more, for $5,500, I would rather opt for the Odin 2 at around $339 or, or $300. Uh, so that's my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, click on You can click on the link on screen now if you want a more in-depth look at the iNeo Pocket S. 
that's it for today thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next tech update